I only winged it. Oh, damn my eyes, they're getting worse. Fetch! Peters? Yes, sir. You ring its neck? Seems a shame, really, sir. If you'll allow me, sir, I think I know someone who might be interested in... You do what you like, Peters. Thank you, sir. Good shot, Father. Bag it, my boy. Is your grandfather at home? He's in the attic. Can I help you? Ah. It's been hurt. I thought perhaps your grandfather might... Is it in pain? No, it'll be all right. Would you like to keep it? You mean I can have her? No, it won't bite.
Hello, Henrietta. How's your doctor today? Completely recovered, thank you, Dr. Rowland. Good morning, Gina. Good everything in this house. You don't have to go, you know, if you don't want to. No, it's not Gregory. I can't wait to see him, it's these endless household chores. Well, that looks solid enough. Are you? You know you promised I could. Did I? You know you did. All right, princess. Come on. Make sure the wild duck doesn't get lost, won't you, Grandfather? Oh, fuss, fuss, fuss. Wild creatures know what it's all about. How many times must I remind you, Gina, the standing figure must be reversed and inclined. You would sit and just incline in towards your... That's very good. Very still. Yes, it's the little details, Gina. It's the, the small things. Come along, Henrietta. We'll be late. Where am I looking? Dear old friend, I was hoping you'd be here. How long has it been? Seventeen years. Sixteen. You haven't changed. Who is this? I hope you had a pleasant journey, Mr. Wardle. For me, thank you. This is Henrietta, my daughter. How do you do? I didn't know you had a daughter. My father wrote me you were married, but... Shall I put the luggage in the car, Mr. Wardle? Oh, yes, thank you, Peters, yes. How's the duck? Good as new. Married life seems to agree with you. Well, I have as good a wife as any man could wish for. Not without education, I... I'm sure she's not. It's astonishing, the knowledge that Gina's picked up from me. And my friends. No, Gregory, you wouldn't know Gina now. I don't know. Gina who? You know Gina. Used to work at your at your house. Do you think Gina Lars, who, who, who looked after my mother? Yes. I'm surprised your father didn't tell you. No, he didn't. Well, the sleeves are a bit short, but apart from that, it's a perfect fit, my dear fellow. Well, thank you for lending it to us, Mr. Morris. Think nothing of it, dear lady. I'm more than happy to see you getting an airing. 
You look very handsome. Do you think it's all right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Will you bring me back something? Oh, don't badger your father, Hetta. Sweets. I'll smuggle you out some sweets. Ah. Oh, I, I, I think not. No hat tonight, dear. You're a lucky man, Harold. I wish I had two such devoted ladies. And don't think I don't appreciate them. Dr. Rowland, don't sit there and make an aspersion of me. <clears throat> Just wait till the great invention comes out, Henrietta. Well, Mollison, my demonic friend, we must celebrate the airing of your tailcoat by getting disgustingly drunk. You can stay out as long as you want to. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, dear. Goodbye, Heather. Oh, sweets. Now I shan't forget. Ladies. Or rather, lady and gentlemen. Tonight, we're assembled here to mark what is primarily a family occasion. For the guest of honor, on my right, is none other than my son, Gregory. As I was saying, my son, Gregory, and it is as a father that I welcome him back after many years, far too many years of absence. shouldn't have invited me, Gregory. Never not. I'm never invited here these days. Don't talk nonsense. That was a pretty decent claret you gave us tonight. What was the year? 1900. One of the finest years in half a century, I'm told. Do you find that Sorry, it varies much from year to year. <laughs> varies much. <laughs> well, I can see good wine is wasted on you. Uh, photography, that's your line, isn't it? Uh, yes. The wine grapes like photography. Needs sunlight. Oh, I see. And the older the vintage, the sweeter. Hey, Mrs. Summers. Would you care for a cigar, Mr. Eckhart? What do you want at this hour? Uh, I must get it into the office, Pete. It's very important. The office was closed hours ago. You know that. Yeah, I know that Gray is here now. Would you be a good chap and just let me through? Please, let me through. Yeah. Make sure you go out the back way when you leave. Clot. Works in the office, does he? 
just does odd copy now and then. Uh, Proper toffee wasn't his time, then. A major in the Sudan War, believe it or not. A major? Him? Went to partnership with Mr. Wardle, filling extra timber for the mill. Things went wrong. The major copped the blame. Finished up inside. Oh. In the clink, was he? Are you reading up there? No, Mother. What did we pay for the butter? Sixpence. And don't forget the beer. It's shocking how much it all adds up to. At least we got eight and sixpence for photographs today. You know, when we were in college, you were an inspiration to all of us. I thought you'd... You've heard about my invention. No, I haven't. What is it? It's photographic. Mm. And it's, it's still in its early stages, but it'll soon be ready. And then the name of Ackland. Oh, Harold, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you, Gregory. How did you... How did you get started as a photographer? Well, it was your father, really. You see, Gina already had experience in retouching. Hmm. So he thought it was the obvious profession for me. Oh, I agreed. It was your father that set me up. Was it? Oh, yes. Well, that was... good of him. We want them by Friday. Aye. I suppose you couldn't let me have a little on account. You know that's not allowed. You know better than that, Major. You can't stay out here, George. You run the risk of catching a chill. Come inside, you two. Your coffee is getting cold. What a dinner. Bit of a labour of Hercules, what? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry uh, for this intrusion. All the doors were locked and um, there was no way out, you see, tonight. I'm sorry, but I have to... Uh... Peters, why did that idiot Gray let him come through here? Uh, clumsy. I'm so cl I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Very sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Who's the old tramp? Just someone from the office. Peters. Make sure that Major Ackland has something to take home with him. A bottle of brandy. Was that your father? Yes. But you ignored him. I think I'll be going, Gregory. I'll catch him up on the way home. You're not going, Harold. Yes. Please give Gina my love and tell her I'll be calling in to see her very soon. Thank you. I will. Harold! During all the years I was up at the mills, I've had a lot of time to think. And I know one thing for certain. The most important thing in life is truth. It's the only way to live. Do you understand? Yes. Good night. Good night. Now you listen to me. 
Franklin drew up the map. He included the government land. He felled the government timber. It was his idea. I only put my name to it to help him out. What about poor Eklund now? He's, oh, come, he's... On, come on, there are some people who, who dive to the bottom the moment they're winged and they never come up again. Believe me, I did all I could. Sort of laying myself open to suspicion. I don't doubt that. Well, you know, Ackland has his job in the office, for which he has paid far more than the work is worth. Why did you pay for Harold to learn photography? That family has cost me a pretty penny, one way or another. Was it so that he could marry Gina Larson? No, I didn't realize that you were all that concerned with former members of our domestic staff. I wasn't, but someone in the house was. Are you just watch your tongue. Nothing's changed. You still can't face the truth. Lies, lies, and more lies piled one on top of another like a, a crust covering the gangrel underneath. Oh, yes, you're right in one respect. Nothing has changed. All these years haven't meant a damn thing to you. No, you're still the same moralistic creature you were when you left. Perhaps even worse. 